Alright, so the previous video showed you how to edit um, some Delmarva rate structures in OpenEI. So, um, what you're going to do now is use some rate structures in System Advisor model as well as your raw Excel data to calculate how much you're going to spend on electricity. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up System Advisor model. So What's nice about System Advisor model is it's free. It's from the National Renewable Energy Lab. So you can get this on any computer if you want to download it anywhere. Uh, we'll create a new file and we'll just call it um, task four. So SAM might look a little bit different. I have, um, it comes out with um, new versions all the time. So if yours is a little bit different than this, that's okay. Uh, you should still be able to have the general um, functionality that I want. Now. SAM does lots of different things. Uh, we are not going to do any energy production in our system, so we're actually not going to look at a lot of the numbers that SAM's going to produce. So it doesn't really matter what you pick here, just so we don't have too many um, boxes. Uh, we'll probably just pick generic system. So let's do that. And we can, and again, just so we don't get too complex of options, we'll do residential financing. It's not a big deal. Now, the big thing is, we're going to have um, so two, two things here, utility rate and electric load. So the first thing we're going to look at is electric load. So right now we don't have any load data input. But we do have um, hourly data. So what we're going to do is user, user entered hourly data. And we're going to edit that data. So right now you can see it's some weird negative 998. That just means it doesn't have a data off for that. So right now, there's 8,760 points here. Our data, if we remember, if we get a raw data here, is way larger than that. Why? Because it's 15 minute time steps. So what we're going to look at, what's nice about SAM is, is it lets us change the time step. So if you have hourly data, this is what you want. But if we have 15 minute data, we can just enter in that time step here. Now you can see it's every 15 minutes it adds up to an hour and whatnot. So now what we're going to do is go ahead to Excel and get that data. So we can do that again. It's already selected, but we can go to the top here, hold Shift, click the very bottom um, row, hit Control C to copy, and then we can hit Paste here. And you can see our utility data is pasted right there, which is great. So you can also see that some values are zero here. This interval data is not the best. It doesn't have all the values um, that we would like, but it does have a lot, so it still will help us out with uh, some things. Go ahead and hit OK. So now what's nice is that we get the energy and the peak kilowatts for all the hours, so Sam does that calculation for us. We can also visualize load data, so if we want some other cool graphs or curves that Sam will do, we can click there. I'm not going to go over that, though. So the other thing we want to look is we want to go to utility rate. So right now, there's no uh, real utility rate in here except for a uh, flat rate of $0.12 cents that we're, we're buying. So that's what Sam does by default. But what's really nice is just like I said in the OpenEI video is that we can go to OpenEI and search for rates. And it's done through this nice little uh, interface here. So again, it's got to be connected to the internet to do this. So let's look. Um, Delmarva Power hasn't updated their rates. That's something you guys are going to have to do um, for this assignment. So we're going to go to Pacific Gas and Electric. It's a company in California. And they have lots of different rates up here. So let's look at two different um, things. Let's first look at commercial A6. So once you click on it, it'll give you some, you know, description, and this is what what they put on OpenEI basically. And now we're going to download and apply utility rate. So now you can see it's a time of use rate with different rates during the day. Um, you know, it gives a fixed monthly charge, um, and and so if it has demand charges, they would be down here, and if it had tiered rates, they'd be down here. So it shows you what's going on. What's really nice, though, is then when we click Run All Simulations, this green arrow right here, is we can look at the total revenue 
without system. So that's the important number, the total revenue without system. Because what that means is our building without um, SAM generically always simulates that there's a power plant or, or, or solar modules or something on the building. So really all we care about is this total revenue without system. And in this case, what that means is we're paying the utility company $12,834. So again, ignore all the other numbers here. This is the only number we care about. So 12834 Let's look if we change the utility rate, what happens. So if we go to search for rates, again, it's going to take a little while. We're going to go to Pacific Gas and Electric. And we are going to go to, we're going to go to commercial A1. Actually, no, AG would be. So this is a little different utility rate. Let's see. Remember, it was about 12800 with the last one. Let's see what this one gives us. This one gives us 15000 So that means just if we were on this utility rate, if we changed the other one, we would save almost $3,000. So that's the idea, is that sometimes your utility rate structure really depends on how much you uh, spend. So this is the idea, is that you can load your hourly usage into here and Sam will do the calculation for you. So that's all for this video.